So something that can be confusing when you first start to work in Final Cut's magnetic timeline craziness is editing music and the absence of tracks and really the whole idea of clip connections uh, can make it confusing and kind of infuriating at first. So here I've got this piece of temp score that's playing uh, from Mad Max that I'm messing around with and I wanted to end maybe with just two simple swells and we're out. So this last swell here, maybe I'd, I'd want that to just be the second one. I'm just going to do a little bit of arranging here to focus on the music part of the timeline. What you're seeing is me buzzing through and uh, showing what Final Cut calls audio lanes, and we won't get into that right now, but just know that even though there aren't any tracks in Final Cut, there is a means of seeing your uh, sound effects, your dialogue, your music, whatever, all separated out. So now we're focused on the uh, music part. And if we listen back to the temp score, we might stop here and cut that off and then cut uh, for the ending beat and move the two together and you've got a music edit of sorts. Um, it's a little rough uh, but you get the idea. Maybe you could take the fade handles and you could um, finesse that a little bit and that sounds okay. Um, but there's a problem with that. You'll see we have two uh, clip connections, these lines here. And so this second part is connected to this. So if we go and we make some picture changes, well, our music edit is going to get all messed up. So how do we deal with that? The hot tip is to create um, what is called a storyline, a secondary storyline, and you'll see here that we have put this bounding box uh, around the music clip. And now if we make that same edit, the magnetic part of the magnetic timeline is alive and well, and it's behaving kind of more like um, the main tracks in Final Cut. And we can open this up even, we can expand um, here and we can make a little uh, crossfade. You'll see that. And we can kind of finesse that and smooth out the edit. You can solo and mute clips like this individually very quickly with keyboard shortcuts and um, and really dial in uh, your transition. And you can zip that all closed. And now you'll see that wherever I move um, the picture that it's connected to, everything comes along with it. So that's really the main thing, is that it's got a single connection point now. And if you ever have a situation where maybe you have a sync point um, at the beginning and then another one at the end, you could create two separate storylines that are kind of joined in the middle. Um, so that will always end and begin the same way. Uh, then you just have to extend or shorten things in the middle if you make picture changes. And that's it.